All right, welcome everyone. I'm Rajneesh Gupta, and with me, Jemin Pathak is here. And this is our series on mock interviews. This is helpful for everyone who is planning to get into SOC analyst or who is already a SOC analyst and want to get uh, uh, on next on the next step, maybe from tier two to tier two, uh, tier one to tier two, and maybe even more further. Okay, so. the format will be exactly the same uh, jemin will be the will be the interviewer and i'll be the interviewee he'll uh, he will ask me couple of questions i'll answer him he will ask me some counter question if he is uh, he if he has any okay um, without taking much time let's get started so hi jemin how are you i'm good uh, all right nish how are you i'm good i'm good thank you so much for having me here you're welcome so my today's question is on wireshark tool so can you tell me what is your experience with wireshark tool uh yeah i mean i i work pretty much with wireshark i i worked with the wireshark to analyze the traffic and um, to look at what's happening on the packet level most of the time uh, i tried uh, as a, as a, i have used it uh yeah uh, to look at the tcp package but from the security point of view i try to look at uh you know what are the different communication happen with the external network so let's say uh while while uh while doing malware analysis or some activity uh, i got some iocs of uh, command and control ip address or malicious ip address so now i can enter those ip address in the wireshark and i can see what all systems have been communicating to the uh, this external ip address so i can get the list of all the ip address and uh, usually in, in our organization we even have historical packet capture where we maintain the net flow as well so with that uh, we can even analyze what happened in the past with those uh, pcap file and we understand what uh, how the communication happen on what ports the communication happen uh, which were which were which are the uh, top most uh, computers uh, sending the data to the to that destination or uh, it's even easier to understand uh, if if we, what are the file has been exchanged uh, or uh, what what kind of file has been exchanged as well so it's pretty good on that sense and uh, it's it's very much help, useful even for the network engineer or network security engineer as well because they can analyze if the three tcp three way handshake is happening what's happening on the ssl handshake as well so i, I worked in analyzing the traffic from http uh, to tcp traffic ssl traffic as well in the network so i i do have good experience with that yeah uh oh, great great so then rajneesh what is the difference between display filter and capture traffic means capture filter well uh, yes so that's a part of uh, basically what happen is uh, you know we, there there's two way we can analyze or we can apply filter in wireshark the first is we can uh, apply capture filter capture filter is 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 uh, you know is set uh before you you know start getting that uh, you know you get into wireshark okay or uh, let me put in this way what happen is capture filter is applied uh in the very beginning itself so you don't get uh you only get what is really needed okay but uh, display filter is like uh, you can apply it in the real time okay you see all the traffic popping up live and then you apply display filter and then it gets sorted out so capture filter is it's sometime is easier if you want to get traffic which is relevant to for your need but display filter is like you know you see everything first and then in real time and then you apply a filter for example let's say uh, in fact both of them have their own uh, command or filter as well option let's say if you want to um, uh, if you only want to see the ftp traffic right because if once you start wireshark you will start getting all the traffic but i just want to make sure 
once the Wireshark start, I should only see FTP traffic, nothing else. So in the beginning itself, I can apply TCP port FTP. This is the command for capture filter. But if let's say you go for display filter, where you first want to see all the traffic that is going on in my computer, it's get, going back and forth. So I see all the traffic and number of traffic. Now I apply the filter. In case of FTP, I can type TCP dot port is equal to and equal to FTP. The equal to comes twice. Yeah. So that that's that's the difference between display filter and capture filter. So yeah. Okay. Got it. So how can you uh, find top talkers using Wireshark? Uh, well, I mean, uh, to find the top talkers, uh, it's it's, uh, it's pretty much easier. Once you have all the packets, we can go to the statistics. Under that, under that we have conversations. So uh, under the conversation, we can see all the traffic and, uh, you know, uh, IP traffic, uh, TCP traffic, and... Uh, a layer two traffic as well and then you can select them and then you can see all the traffic which is exchanging the data or the the top tra traffic or probably all of them and the number of packet which has been exchanged or the amount of data which has been exchanged as well so from there we can um, see the top talkers in the network so yeah got it yeah this is all I have for today's uh, interview questions. Thank you for sure. your all answers. Sure. Thank you so much, Jamin. Uh, so everyone, um, now this is time for the detailed explanation. Let me take the Wireshark. Um, uh, let me show you the Wireshark. So let me first open the Wireshark, OK? And before I do that, uh, I'll have to share my screen. Yeah. Give me one second, guys. Let me share my screen. Yeah. So here we go. Um, so let me open the Wireshark now. And this is Wireshark. And uh, yeah, so you can see. Um, uh, you can see the Wireshark. This is the Wireshark dashboard. The moment you open it up, you see uh, uh, Wi-Fi. You see all the adapters on the bottom. And as I said earlier, uh, you the moment you open the Wireshark, you get the capture filter. You see this capture. This is the capture filter. Okay. This is uh, used to be very specific. Okay. So. I can select the traffic. Let's say I, I want to monitor all the traffic. So I can go to the Wi-Fi and I'll start getting all the traffic. Okay. It's unstoppable. Now I can apply a filter. Maybe by saying uh, TCP dot port uh, equal to equal to 80. TCP uh, three times. Okay. Uh, there's something wrong. TCP port. Yeah. So this is how I filter certain traffic, right? But this way, I can be very specific about certain port. What I can do is I can actually even utilize a fil uh, display filter. Let's say now uh, what I can do is I can again open the Wireshark. And this time, I can again open the Wireshark. This time, I'll I'll enter the port on the on the in the first instance, it's on the capture filter itself. So what I can do is I can say host uh, and I'll type the host IP address 192.168.29.32, uh, okay? So I'll start getting the traffic which is only, only belongs to this network, okay? So uh, I will get that traffic if it really exists. If with not, then I won't see that traffic in the network, right? So you can see, uh, I see all the traffic. I don't see anything yet. But if this traffic start coming up, I should see the traffic, right? So that's how we apply the uh, capture filter. But if you want to do it here, you just, you can just, what you can do is you can, uh, you need to, what you need to do is you need to open the Wireshark and uh, 
you can go uh, come to the Wi-Fi wi again and over here you can type ID IP ADDR equal to equal to 192.168.29.32 okay so I see that traffic now okay so uh this is this is the display filter okay if you remove that you start getting all the traffic in the network sometime it looks confusing because you when you are an analyst you want to be very focused about it right so that's what you do um let me show you some example traffic uh let me show you dns based traffic so this is the packet filter packet capture of dns traffic so let's say i want to filter the dns traffic i just type the dns okay and if you open any traffic into it uh a pop-up opens up and uh, this will give you detailed information about uh, you know udp and because dns is udp based traffic so you can see the uh source port 53 and uh, it's a udp traffic so uh you see the information related to that as well uh okay so this give you a flag transaction there is no acknowledgement uh, let me know why why there is no acknowledgement uh okay there's a hint but i won't I want an answer. Just tell me in the comment section why there is no acknowledgement for DNS traffic. Okay. So that's how you visualize the DNS traffic. You can see all the D these is all the query messages for DNS. Okay. Now let's analyze one more traffic. Uh, uh, let's look at the HTTP traffic. Okay. So this is the HTTP traffic. Um, once you open that up, a pop-up, a box opens up, or maybe you can analyze it on the bottom as well. Okay, like this. So <clears throat> you have first TCP traffic because HTTP is a TCP-based traffic, and you have source port 3372, destination port 80 because HTTP works on port 80. And uh, we have acknowledgement, we have sequence number, flags, everything right so from looking at the flags it seems like it's an acknowledgement right so this is an acknowledgement flag oh and push is also set into it okay and uh, if you open the http data http traffic it gives you the information that it's a get message okay and um, uh there's another important method as well let me know in the comment section what is that okay so there's one get and there's one more which is very popular get is to retrieve the data post is used <laughs> i just answered that so no need to i put that into comment section post is used to um, submit the data so when you submit your username password upload any file or something you use the post method okay and get is used to retrieve the data let's say you type google.com so you actually download the information of the web page. So you, you send the get message in that case. Um, so this is the website, the host information and everything. And this is the data. Okay. So this is how you filter out the traffic. You can also do the HTTP. Uh, you want to see for us only for a specific host. You type the, you know, HTTP.host and the domain name. So that's how you filter out. Um, and talking about uh, conversation, okay. Uh, I think in the interview, we also talked about the top talkers as well. So let me show you top talkers. Uh, sorry. Let me show you the top talkers as well. So let's say we, we don't apply any filter. Let's look at all the traffic, okay. This is all the traffic in the network. Let's go to the statistics. And from there, you can go to the conversation. Okay, and now uh, now uh, you can go to the IP. Now this gives you all the uh, all the IP addresses and the amount of traffic, a number of packets, number of bytes, and amount of traffic which is sent. So the moment you click on bytes, it's get into the descending order. So you can see the the topmost traffic uh, on the top. Okay, uh, the so the maximum amount of traffic which is being exchanged is between this IP address and my system, okay? And so this is all. I mean, this is how you can monitor it. You also see the duration as well for the entire conversation. 
All right. So I hope this was useful for you. If you have any question in your mind, do let us know in the comment section. Uh, we are really enjoying it. And I hope you are enjoying it as well. Okay. So thank you so much. Bye for now.